It's Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the New Orleans Saints and the Minnesota Vikings under the lights on Thursday night. As this crowd rolled into U.S. Bank Stadium, they were bundled up, jackets and scarves, downright cold outside on this November evening. But all good here inside as we welcome you to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Tonight on this fine Thursday night, we've got a good one in store between the New Orleans Saints and the Minnesota Vikings. And hi again, everybody, alongside my partner, Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that could have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. It started and we are underway from Minneapolis. And this will go as a touchback and they will begin things at the 25. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They're led out by a three-time Pro Bowler, owner of over 35,000 passing yards in 11 seasons, the veteran Andy Dalton. I love his football IQ. I love his ability to have people rally around him. And as he likes to remind me all the time when I get ready to call one of his games, I can run it a little bit too. A nice presence to have on your team. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. And Dalton to throw. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by the linebacker, Eric Kendricks. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. So a big defensive play there on the opening drive, no less, as they make the interception and bring it back to the score. And I think that's a signal for how this defense wants to play. They want to be disruptive, and you know they're going to take some chances. Well, sometimes it can burn you, but right there, it paid off. Greg Joseph on for the extra point. He's got it, and the Vikings take a 7-0 lead. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Fields the squib kick right around the 30. And solid field position here to start as they get this out to the 40-yard line. Well, he gave up the first touchdown of the game, but how about the response? Big time return. Now it's their chance to try and put points on the board. They start the drive on the ground. Camaro. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Dalton now to pass. And that one going to come up short. No throw. He released that accurately. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a too hard and let it go late and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short of the other, which is unusual because we saw him. He's got a big strikeout and he delivers it with confidence. Mike Gillikin on the on fourth down. Here comes Rager. 
It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and it will be Vikings ball first and 10. The Vikings offense coming out for the first time, and in his fifth season leading this crew, coming off his third career Pro Bowl nod, Kirk Cousins. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. And what a nice example there of a tight end doing exactly what he needs to do. How about how he worked his way to the outside, made sure he secured the catch, and then anything after that, we count that as a bonus. And indeed, he gets enough for the first down. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And now he hurdles him and into space. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line. Just shy of the 20. 39 yards there. The timing was absolutely true as he caught it working across the field. Plenty of space for him to roam. But notice how he keeps his head on a swivel, looking for defenders who may crop up out of nowhere. That turned into a big play. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. On the jet sweep, here comes Jefferson. A gain of three, second down. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, I think it's a pretty nice job defensively against the Jets' sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house, so they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. On second and seven, Cousins. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field and brings up third down. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. The first carry now for Dalvin Cook. And he is not going to get to the marker as they stop him short at the 14. Four yards on the pickup there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. Cousins to throw it. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And the Vikings are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. What an excellent end result for them. But let's go back to the decision, first of all, to go for it all on fourth down. A lot of pressure on the quarterback's shoulders, but they knew he could handle it. Makes the right read there, gets the ball to his receiver. They get the first down. It's now first and goal. On the jet sweep, here comes Jefferson. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now from Minnesota. It's the Vikings in possession of the football. As they come up now, second and goal. On the jet sweep, here comes Jefferson. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there. All 11 guys on defense diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. So can this New Orleans defense stand tall again? Third and goal. Throwing. Cousins. Feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Third and goal they decided to throw for, but how about the play defensively? Couldn't find anyone open. Left him nowhere to go with the football. Had to absorb the sack. Fourth down, Cousins. And oh, it'll be intercepted. It's the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And the Saints are going to take possession. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. 
The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. Now a first down carry, it's Kamara. And he's gonna get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Operating from the 27 now, here's second and three. Again, it's Kamara. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to lead to a third and four coming up. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Throwing, Dalton. And that will be incomplete. <laughs> So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. And this returnable for Rager. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. 21 yards. Well done on the return. And the Vikings will take over here first and 10. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And some space here. Oh, up and over. 153 remaining in this first half of play. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Touchdown, Vikings! Jalen Miller. Touchdown, Brown. And the Vikings are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. That, of course, all set up by the big run on the play prior. They took advantage right away with the touchdown throw. And you mentioned advantage. Probably taking advantage of their natural instinct after that previous play to be aggressive and rush towards the line of scrimmage. And instead, they're vulnerable to the pass. Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. First and 10 for Dalton. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked off by the linebacker, Eric Kendricks. And the Vikings are going to take possession of the football. I think this one went around very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and he's able to fit it anywhere he wants to. The Vikings offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And now following that turnover, they've got an opportunity here to try to cash in with good field position before intermission. Following the interception, Cousins. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. Give the sack to David Onyemata, the product of Nigeria by way of Canada. Well, obviously, the pass rush gets the glory and the statistics on this play. But the coverage, they deserve a ton of credit, too. Denied open windows. A race of quarterbacks targets one by one. Everywhere he looked, someone was covered. Only a matter of time before someone got there to bring him down. A sizable gain there, nine yards as they get it back to a third and five. this play to move the sticks. Play fake. Cousins. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. 
Fourth down, field goal try coming. So Cousins is off, and on comes Greg Joseph for Minnesota. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. And it's a fake. He's going to throw it. Now a throw caught by one of their linemen. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And the Vikings will extend their lead here just before halftime. That story that they just gave up there, that's a tough one for their defense to swallow because they've had a tough time through the first two quarters. They really were determined to get a stop there. Unable to do so, that makes their comeback hopes that much more difficult. Joseph on for the extra point. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And he gets in. No one was expecting a fake there, but they had two more. They said, we're leaving it there. So if you want to fake it, that's a long way to go. And they got it done. I was going to say, they had a 15-yard play in their back pocket. <laughs> you don't see that on too many play sheets, do you? No. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They'll keep it on the ground again here. And obviously not fooling anybody here as they stop him behind the line of scrimmage. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Got an open man. It's Alave. And he is going to have a Saints first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. The final act of the first half, Dalton. And this will be incomplete. One second left to go. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. The final shot before break. Dalton is going to float this over the middle deep. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. A happy sight for a lot of these fans. We're jumping right over halftime and getting back into the action. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. Kene Duwagu now out of his end zone. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. He's at the 40. Past the 20. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Minnesota. Well, he made the right choice by result but a little bit surprising because now the touchback's coming back to the 25 instead of the 20. When guys feel it that deep in the end zone, I think most coaches want to take a knee. Yeah, it's resulted in more kneel downs. Not right there. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. This taken in at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23 yard line. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. Passing, it's Dalton. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And he is going to lose yardage here. And despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Now 
They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara. Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. An extra defender in the secondary for the Vikings here on third down. Here's Dalton. The Vikings after him, and they give that for the sack. Down to Tomlinson. In there again for a loss of nine yards, and that also leads to fourth down. On is the punt team now as this one's sent away. That's taken at around the 40. There's a nice move. A terrific return there, 27 yards all told. And the Vikings, they'll be set up well as they take over in great field position, first and 10. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. They go play action, Cousins. Oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Open man is Osborne. He's got it. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Now those backups on the sideline, they got to be eagerly anticipating the fourth quarter upcoming. Look at the size of the lead, how they're moving the football. This defense really struggling and giving up plays like we just saw. And he will score. Touchdown. have taken a five touchdown lead. Well, on the other sideline right now, it's just absolute dejection. But Charles, let's focus on the positive. But the lead that they've built here, they've done pretty much everything to perfection in this ball game. They certainly have. Makes me think that their week of preparation was excellent. And they flowed into this game, and it carried over. And right now, I don't expect them to back off at all. They're playing so well, they just want to keep it going. Cook, they'll try and run it. And he will not make it to the goal line. It's his try for two is going to come up empty. But that's little consolation to this defense as they have been porous all game long. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he's going to get this across the 20 as he's out of bounds at the 23. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Well, we're still in the third quarter, so there's some time to kind of clean this up and make it look more respectable. Now a win, that's probably gone out the window, Charles. But I don't know, do you look at this as a time to just improve and maybe start to look towards the future? I think you have to find something to play for, something to grasp onto until the clock runs out. But Brandon, we've been around this game a long time. This is an outlier. You don't get many blowouts like this no matter how the game looks on paper going in. This one has turned out to be everyone's worst nightmare realized. Dalton sets up play action. Incomplete. Took a shot. Couldn't connect. Here comes the Saints punt now. As he's on the punt for the fourth time tonight. starting field position you could possibly have. First and goal from the one. Throwing his Cousins. And Thielen's got it. Touchdown Vikings. A great play there. He 
scored on the ground and through the air. And the Vikings get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Joseph connects on the extra point, and the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. Taking it about the one. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. Well, the disparity in this game, it just seems to grow with each possession here, Charles. They are really struggling. They have not put up a single point, and on the other side, the points keep piling up and up and up. So you know the frustration level has to be rising, right? So they've got to find a way to grow that because of that. And we return welcoming you back to Minneapolis. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. To throw here, Dalton. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. And Daniil Hunter, he's the one who gets in there and brings him down to the ground. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. Picked off by Harrison Smith, and the Vikings are going to take possession of the football. But my goodness, CD, I mean, this defense just continuing to dominate. They're really dominating on both sides of the ball. But for the defense, that's now three interceptions for them in this ball game. And what a great teaching tape for this defensive coordinator, right? When they go back and review this game, what does he always tell us that he preaches to his team? We're going to lead the league in effort. Well, he does that in this game as well as making big plays. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Here's Cook again. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. He's worked relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? And this will be caught, and the carnage continues. It's another touchdown. When coaches come into a game preaching total team effort, CD, I think this is the type of ball game that they're dreaming of. It was pretty apparent early on that they were clicking in all three phases. It's, it's been fun to watch. Yeah, sometimes in the NFL, you end up with matchups like we've been watching. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds? That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. After review of the play, Touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. Joseph connects on the extra point, and this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Now Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. This will be fielded inside the five. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Saints again ready to go on offense. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off by Chandon Sullivan. And the Vikings are going to take possession of the football. So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. 
They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. Suddenly it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Throwing here, Cousins. And they're going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Well, he has been fun to watch throwing the football in this one. And certainly not fun for that defense, though, Charles. Now up to four touchdown passes in this ball game. Yeah, we're supposed to be neutral, but I'm feeling their pain right now because he has absolutely carved up the secondary. A clinic on how to attack the defense and take them out of the game. They'll look to throw. And this is going to be caught. So that two more in the lead as they continue to pull out here in the third. Obviously, kick the extra point there than the goal for two, but it almost feels like there's a story within the story here. I mean, this isn't college. You know, size of victory, that matters in those games. Here, all you have to do is win by one point. That's all that you need. Instead, they go for it, get two. You got some pretty ticked off folks on the other sideline now. Fields this way up at the 17. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Now whistles and a timeout. Looks like we've got a Viking slow to get up. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And he's got the hook up to Landry. They sure put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. On second and inches. Dalton. They'll get this out to Camara. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. On first and 10, here's Andy Dalton. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Well, that frustration, Charles, it's been building on the defensive side of the ball, and unfortunately there, it turns into a roughing the passer penalty. Yeah, and they should be frustrated because he's picked them apart the entire game, but it's got to come out in a different way. You can't hit him illegally. Stop him downfield the way you're supposed to. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. This will be Dalton again. Escaping the pressure right. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Turner, you know who you're buying dinner for. Oh, without a doubt, because he just took care of you and your team in a big way. You know, you turn it over there, that's a big momentum changer and put your defense in a bad spot. Cousins here to throw. He's got a man complete. 20, 10. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, when they said before the game that they were going to try and execute every second of this contest, I, I guess that that was taken literally because here they are in the final moments of the fourth, putting another touchdown on the board, Charles, to add to this big lead. Not a big believer at 110 percent, but it certainly applies here, doesn't it? Because some guys just can't go with less. As long as there's time left on the clock, they're pushing to get to the end zone one more time. They don't really care about what the optics show. They just want to finish the game off. Oh, and now they're going to fake it. And he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they had two more on their lead. Joseph tees it up to kick off following the touchdown. And a short kick taken at about the 16. 
And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. I hate to say it, but at this point, I don't really know that they're playing to win with this deficit in the fourth quarter. They're just trying to erase that zero on the scoreboard, Charles, and get some type of momentum to carry into the film session tomorrow. If you get any type of points on the board, that is a moral victory. I don't know what we're talking about that in the first game press conference. That's not something you mentioned in the NFL. And this loss, it already stings in the 